Oh hi there. I just thought I'd let you know that there's two new ways to help support the making of these videos now. YouTube memberships. Look for the join button next to our subscribe button. It is now possible to support Robbie, Choco, and me as we document this journey of rebuilding our 40-foot sailboat named Inesperado by chipping in a small amount per video made through the YouTube website. Very similar to the way that we have patrons on the Patreon website. We just want to open up as many avenues for supporters as possible, of course. You can also go ahead and check out the Sailorama store, where you can order some sweet swag to be delivered to your door, and a portion of the profit goes towards continuing our sailboat projects. As I spend my days in the dust and the heat of the construction zone that is our cruising boat here on the Riviera Maya, it is important not to lose sight of the forest for the trees. We can't sail far and wide yet, but we can appreciate the smaller sails in our locality. Puerto Aventuras boasts a skilled little sailing club for both children and adults. It is one of the most successful sailing clubs in Mexico, and it hosted a national regatta last year. At the time, I would have never guessed that the sight of crowds of young sailors coming together to compete would look so remarkable, different to the situation today. I'm utterly impressed by these kids who make their way out through the canal to the open ocean to train on their tiny little sailing vessels. These are the Optimus boats. Optimists are popular amongst young learners, as they were specifically designed as an economical way to get budding sailors out onto the water. Kind of the equivalent to soapbox racers, but of the sea. And they are built to hold only the weight of young'uns, up to 15 years old. The regatta occurred, luckily, in very decent weather, but I still admire these kids who come out here to learn on the perilous sea in their tiny little dinghies. A flock of optimists came up around the race marker to bump and bash as a way to warm up. Next came the line of windsurfers. Windsurfing is literally a mixture of surfing and sailing although I personally think of the sport as snowboarding of the sea. And finally, the lasers. They are slightly larger sailing dinghy than the Optimist, but also very simple as well. So when the kids get older, they can move on up to these buggers. The course repeats, and up come the Optimists again, followed by the windsurfers and the lasers. I was impressed by the tenacity of these young competitors as the whole thing went on for several hours, almost the entire day in fact. They were out on the water, in the sun and the heat, non-stop. No one got swept away by the strong Gulf Stream current, which is somewhat visible here as these two lasers battle against it to make the turn around the mark. Today the club is quiet. It has been forced to almost completely shut down. But now this is the time for us adults to come out and play. I mean, inspect the sailing equipment. We only had access to one boat between the three of us. No, me and Chimi go alone. I think you go with Chimi and then I go alone. Our friend Tomas, or Chimi as Robbie affectionately calls him, showed us the process of setting up a sunfish for sailing. The process is, of course, delightfully simple. Then you're just going to go in the boat or what? In the motorboat? Yeah, we're, we're going to be sitting there. Make sure the clue and the tack are attached properly. Run the main sheet. Attach it. 
attached the rudder, and of course, Tomas raised the sail earlier with the main halyard. That's it! Dump the boat in the water. <laughs> Are you starting? Also, the centerboard can be easily raised or lowered whenever needed. We followed Robbie through the canal as he tacked his way out. Choco was jealous and wanted to sail with him. Just a couple of weeks ago, some storms rolled through and knocked over the entrance light. As Robbie sailed off, we set the anchor near the entrance to the canal so that we could take turns playing on the sunfish. I have never sailed a sailing dinghy type boat before, only vessels 20 feet and above. So Tamas would have to show me the ropes, as it were. It's always very interesting to have conversations with Tommy because I speak very little Spanish and he speaks only a little more English. Okay, to tap that way. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna get hit, me, me. No, don't worry. <laughs> you, you push the, the rudder to the wind and back the... Uh, okay, uno, dos y tres. Okay, va. Si tu sueltes la vela, la vela pasa lenta, entonces no hay problema. Okay? Si. Sí. Entonces, yo quiero que tu ahora intentes llevarlo así. He told me to keep my feet inside, under the webbing, and to lean my weight outward when going upwind. He also showed me to lift the centerboard when heading downwind, which is not possible on any of the boats I've ever sailed before. We go out to Robbie and damos la vuelta y ahí casa, casa, casa vela y afuera. Casa más la vela y eso decía. Cuando dábamos la vuelta a la lancha, around the, the boat, you go in, I don't know how it's in English. Uh, 45... 45 grados, sí. Okay. Exacto. Y pon los pies aquí, rodillas y tobillos juntos, ¿ok? Sí. Bien. Casa más la vela y afuera la espalda. Your back outside. So now he thought I'd be all set to take off on my own. I failed my first attempt at tacking alone and stalled the boat on an incoming wave. Okay, well, time to pick up some speed and try that again. Now I'm getting the hang of things. Except here comes the sargassum weed and I'm starting to shed a loose tow rope from the forward deck. 
I think those guys are waiting for me and getting bored on the panga, so I try to jibe now. <laughs> and I almost flipped the boat. Nice going. Jimmy goes out on the sunfish to demonstrate proper jiving technique, but I know he's just going to have some fun. <laughs> Underwater. I tried again sailing alone and swiftly ran into a thick patch of sargassum. The boat visibly slows down as the weed catches my bottom. Right about here is the time to lift the centerboard and lift the keel a little bit to shake it off. Tacking to head back, I feel accomplished as it's been a good day of learning on one of the smallest boats I've sailed yet. <laughs> 